do Sul, então vou fazer tradução simultânea agora, tá bom? Tô com Gastão Moreira, I'm with Gastão Moreira, com Marcelo André, I'm with Marcelo André, I'm here with... <laughs> I'm here with the master Dave Lombardo. Tô aqui com o mestre Dave Lombardo. How are you, Dave? Really good. Thank you. Hola, Brasil. Oh. Uh, Dave, you are from Cuba, right? Yes, I was you born know. in Cuba. And do you speak Spanish? Si. Si? Si, hablo español. Ah, oh. español. Entiendo portugués un poquito, pero no mucho. É mesmo. Que legal. É, Roy Z, the producer Roy Z, yeah. produtor Roy Z, ele fala português, he speaks Portuguese very well. Oh, he does, wow. And so, but he moved like with two years old? Yes. How old were you? I was when two years old when I when I moved to the United States. And have you been to Cuba? No, I've never, never, never been. Yeah, I wish I could go to Cuba. But I will go one day, but oh, not, not soon. I've been to many different countries, but my own country. Exato. Yeah. Gastão Moreira perguntou que ele foi para os Estados Unidos com apenas dois anos de idade, né? E o Dave falou que é verdade. E o Gastão perguntou se ele já voltou a Cuba depois que ele nasceu. Falou que não, nunca foi, mas ele quer, pretende voltar em Cuba. Ele já foi para muitos países, mas Cuba ele ainda não foi. Um monte de banda de metal, né? Um monte de banda de metal. There is a, a huge scene, metal scene. Yes, Cuba, no. yes, there is. There's a band called Zeus. Zeus, yeah, they're, uh, they're good. very, very popular. They've been around for like 25, 30 years. Really? Yeah, they've been around for and a long time. And they sing in English? No, oh, no, no, in Spanish, Spanish yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, but uh, the singer, he's been in jail for playing this kind of music, you know, because of course the communism and everything. So his life is really, is really interesting. Actually, the entire history of the band is, is, uh, is interesting and what they had gone through for the love of heavy metal. What we take for granted in our countries, you know, in that country, you can't play heavy metal. It's it's like something from the West, you know, it's yeah. capitalist or it's whatever. Illegal, it's it? illegal, yeah. Really, it's yeah. illegal. Yeah. Maybe What's not so much now, but, you know, uh -huh. there was a period where they were in arrested. The yeah, they were arrested. What's the name of the band, sorry? Zeus. Zeus. Uh, o David tá falando de uma banda de Cuba chamada Zeus, que é uma banda que ele gosta muito de lá, que eles cantam é, em espanhol e que o cantor da banda foi preso, cara, porque eles faziam heavy metal e na época do alto comunismo não se podia tocar heavy metal. Olha que absurdo, cara. É, é sinistro, cara. <risos> Tem vários clipes, cara. Tem vários, Tem vários clipes é. dos usos. Tu conhece, Gastão? Conheço, conheço. É bacana pensar. Gastão, Gastão Free conhece head. tudo, né, cara? Uh, Gastão it, uh, it was a great presenter on MTV Brasil. Uh, like a Headbangers Ball. Oh, I see. Yeah. Gastão sempre foi um grande nome do heavy metal brasileiro, que aqui era o Fúria Metal, né? Thank you very much. And... I talk a lot about this guy. Yeah? <laughs> every time I play his layer, oh, they, everybody. Dave, ah. Dave, Dave, Dave. It, Thank it's, you. It's real, man. Thank you. É, o pessoal fala muito que o Dave Lombardo foi um dos primeiros bateristas a tocar pedal duplo, né? You are, yeah, people tell that you are one of the, the first drummers to play double kick. Yes. Well, I mean, there were other drummers and a lot of jazz drummers. Yeah, yeah. But I think in metal. heavy metal, yeah. But the first album, Show No Mercy, that was recorded with one bass drum. Really? And then the second, you know, Capture of Sin or Haunting the Chapel, mm -hmm. that was all with double bass. So I evolved from single bass to the double. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. É, yes. o, o Dave tá falando que o primeiro disco, Show No Mercy, ele foi gravado com pedal simples, né, com um bumbo só. É, e o Haunting the Chapel, que é o segundo, que é o EP, o segundo EP, ele já foi gravado com pedal duplo, que tem Chemical Warfare. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Chemical Warfare is a great song. <laughs> yes. I think it must keep on feet and to play drums. Especially not nowadays to play the old stuff, isn't it? Because it's very physical. Yes, it's very physical, but it's so natural for me because it was... I've been doing it since I was 17 years old. Mm -hmm. So that playing that style and playing with that energy, it's it's natural. I have to do it. I have to do it, you know, on a not a daily basis, but in my life I have to play fast mm -hmm. because my body asked for it. Mm -hmm. I'm so used to it. I can't go without it. Yeah, for sure. É, o Gastão estava falando do, do jeito dele de tocar bateria, né? E que e o David respondeu que realmente ele é, a base dele é o thrash metal, é esse estilo mais vigoroso de tocar e que ele ele é obrigado a manter esse estilo de, 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 de bateria até hoje, né? Até a forma, manter física, a forma né? física, né? And Dave, eu vou fazer uma pergunta para o Dave que é uma pergunta a respeito de produção musical, né? Que hoje em dia as baterias são gravadas de uma maneira muito artificial. Antigamente a gente tocava a bateria de verdade, era um ser humano tocando bateria. O que, que ele acha disso hoje em dia? Dave, nowadays uh, the recording process of, of, of an album of heavy metal or thrash metal, 
the the drums are recorded like a uh, like plastic, I believe. They 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 put sound replace. They put the compressor. The best snare they they copy and paste. Yes. And 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 in the past, the drummer used to play the drums and recording. That's all. What do you think about this new process of recording? Well, I don't want to sound like you know somebody that doesn't embrace new technology, which I do. I love the new technology. But you can abuse this technology mm -hmm. and use it to, uh, to, you know, it's something you want to use to, to make it better. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's not a good thing to use mm -hmm. too much, you know. So uh, I, I like it, mm -hmm. but only when it's used in its minimal, yeah. you know, minimal form. I recently recorded uh, with my new band uh, on tape. Like really? two inch tape, just like we did. We recorded Rain and Blood, South of Heaven, uh, Seasons. We recorded all the original Slayer records. Yeah, everybody. Tape, they, they, all, they are yeah. all in here. All right? those were recorded <laughs> on tape. Your new band, you are talking about Phil. Yes. yes. Eu vou, eu vou só traduzir a resposta dele. É, ele disse que ele acha positivo a nova tecnologia, mas que que ela seja usada com parcimônia, né? Parcimônia é a palavra boa. <risos> que seja usado com parcimônia, você utilizar as técnicas de, de replacement, essas coisas, ele ele acha que não é tão legal. É melhor você... Até porque é muito mais legal o cara gravar o disco e conseguir tocar ao vivo, né? Eu vou, vou falar isso com ele. É, it's, it's nice because you can record the album in this new way, and if you are not a good drummer, yes. the, 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 the mix in the mix of sound, mm -hmm. they they make it, yes. and now they are great, the drummer. Oh, of course. Great drummer. But and then they go on stage. Yeah, for sure. And where's the drummer? Yeah. Uh, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't work well. You have to deliver live. Mm -hmm. Your performance has to be on point, mm -hmm. like it is on the record. And I think that's what made, you know, I think these albums special because when you listen back to them, they have a classic feel. For sure. and, and that is in part because it was uh, recorded in this method. Yeah. And I think for bands that want to achieve that, they have to go back and understand how that process was. And it's different. It's not easy. It takes yeah. a lot of practice. For sure. É, o David falou que para você ser um baterista de excelência, você tem que ter a cancha, tem que ser guigueiro. Tem que tocar ao vivo bastante para depois que você tiver essa prática toda, você ir para o estúdio e conseguir fazer o que você faz ao vivo no estúdio. Né? Castão, você tem isso? Alguma... Lógico, pelo amor de Deus. Pessoas que não gostam de like metal, que não gostam de metal, acham que tocar metal é muito fácil. Não é nada, não é nada. Talvez os drummers que estão vendo naquele momento, talvez seja fácil, porque os drummers não estão batendo. Os drummers hard porque eles estão usando triggers. Você sabe, isso é uma outra coisa que eles fazem. You know, but it is very physical, and I think that uh, I think it should be respected like any other genre of music. Is it true that you never warm up before a gig? É verdade que você nunca se aqueceu antes de fazer show. It's a legend, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, my philosophy in regards to warming up, when you practice with a band, you're practicing like one week week like 10 days mm -hmm. before the, the first show so when it when the first show happens you've just played 10 10 times that you played the 10 uh, the set about 10 times so mm -hmm. I'm already warmed up mm -hmm. I'm ready to go on stage and perform what I just rehearsed yeah if I start warming up before I feel that you're you're gonna get tired mm -hmm. I I'd rather warm up on stage yeah, is what I yeah, like to yeah. do. Yeah, I like to too. feel that pain, you know, on stage, not not before. It's wood, man. Na que madeira, cara. Yeah, yeah, for sure. A gente vai para um pequeno intervalo comercial e a gente já volta. We go to a little break. Okay. We are, we we go back after the break. Brother Shaxon. A gente volta daqui a pouco com o Saiu de the show. Is it? Yeah.